I'm Joe Zekas. I'm here at the 87th Street Chamber of Commerce, and I'm with... Uh, Fallon Russell, the program director. Okay, great. And Fallon, uh, we were just talking, and you live in the area, and you are telling me that you like living down here, and uh, I was asking you why, and I asked you to go on camera and tell us about that. Okay. Um, I like living in the area because it's nice and convenient. There are a lot of businesses um, that are catered to, I would say, maybe young and... Now, I guess you could say maybe the old as well. Um, I, I feel, I guess I feel safe in this area. I stay in Peel Hill. And it's not too, it's, it's a quiet neighborhood. And I usually young people don't usually say that they like quiet, but I like <laughs> it quiet. I like, you know, knowing my neighbors next door. I like being able to feel, you know, comfortable when I'm coming in, in and out of my house. Do you grew up around here? Um, actually, I grew up in Chatham, and then mm -hmm. I moved here maybe about when I was maybe 12. So I definitely, I love living in this area. What, uh, tell me more about some of the attractions. Parks, recreation? Uh, yes. Um, movie theaters? Um, yes, there is a movie theater on 87. Um, I, they did open, I would say, maybe about maybe five or six or so years ago, which is definitely a convenience. You know, when you, when you want to go out, you know, have a good time. See the, the new movie. I know I'm dying to go see Dream Girls. <laughs> I tried last night, but it was sold out. <laughs> um, I definitely love that the fact that there's um, a pharmacy um, and jewels. And Whenever you need to go to the grocery store, it's right up the street. And you probably haven't been to the new Target yet, right? Oh yes, of course. I stay in there. <laughs> <laughs> I stay in there. I think that was one, definitely one of the best additions that we have gotten in our community. Where, where I live, all the girls call it Tarjay. Yeah. Like, so I, I sometimes say that myself. <laughs> same thing down here? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes, Tarjay, yes. Tar they, they give me all the time. Cool. I was actually in there yesterday. <laughs> I, I was doing a little late Christmas shopping. Yeah. Uh, really? Yeah, I know. <laughs> I haven't seen my sister, so I'm okay. <laughs> Do your, do your friends stay around here, or do people move on from um, here, or do people come back to here for their families? What? How, how does that work? Yes, um, I um, do have a, um, a few friends that still stay in the area. Um, they do um, come back for the holidays, uh, and we do, you know, try to, you know, get together every once in a while somewhere, like maybe like Leona's, which definitely I believe was a great addition to our community as well. This is a nice spot that you know, restaurant that you can go. And have a good, you know, dinner. So. Pill Hill. Mm hmm What's what's that about? Is did that get, I heard it got its name because the doctors lived mm -hmm. there one time. Is that, yes, uh, that's exactly where it got its name. Um, there used to be a whole bunch of um, doctors. They lived in the area, and um, they just decided to call it Pill Hill. Hill. <laughs> it's kind of like. And, and uh, then you know, of course, we have a lot of hills over there. <laughs> so. It's kind of like a suburb, isn't it? The, the, oh, I wouldn't say ways. it's a suburb, but it, it definitely doesn't look like traditional Chicago. You know, and that, that's what I always say about Chicago. The great thing about Chicago is you go from one neighborhood to the next, and it's a completely different scene. Um, I would say, like, a lot of the houses in Peel mm -hmm. Hill kind of remind me kind of a, slightly of Californian um, style um, homes. Definitely not something that's like traditional, um, I guess you would say, a Chicago home. Like you go to Hyde Park and the houses that they're definitely completely different. Like they're huge. Not to say that we don't have any nice huge homes in uh and Peel Hill, but they're definitely it's a different style. And I stay actually on ninety second and computer, so it's nothing but a hop, skip, and a jump. And that's definitely big for me, um, convenience because I stay down the street, so I can literally I can walk to work if I really wanted to. And during the summers, I try to ride my bike. You know, get a little exercise. Yeah. <laughs> Justify you, it. <laughs> you don't look old enough, but are there bars, nightclubs? Uh, uh, <laughs> there are. Uh, I am old enough. <laughs> there are. Uh, there are a few. Um, I guess you could say bars. Um, I know the dating game, um, and I know they have stepping classes, which I've been dying to take because it's kind of embarrassing saying you know if you're from Chicago and you don't know how to step because the whole R. Kelly thing. I'm like I don't know. I don't know. From Chicago, not... you don't know how to step? I'm, I'm like, not embarrassed. No. <laughs> You're not embarrassed. So that's definitely something I've been um, wanting to get into. And see, that's another exciting thing about the community that they offer so many different services. What, uh, what, 
What else should I know? Um, well, I definitely would love to plug the um, Senator Barack Obama um, Small Business Expo. Uh, where he, he really needs the plugs these days. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nobody's ever heard of him. <laughs> Well, I'm, I'm going to plug it for the 87th Street um, Stony Island Chamber of Commerce because we're just definitely ecstatic about it. Because, you know, anything Barack touches is gold. So we like, he called and he was like, yeah, I want to do a meeting with you guys. And I'm like, oh, my God, I got Barack on the phone. It's not even his, really him, but that's just that's close enough. <laughs> He's so, kind of like a rock star these days. Yeah, it's a funny story. I actually um, I met him uh, before he actually was elected. Uh, I was going to St. Louis for Labor Day. Uh, my family, well, part of my family stays there, and um, he, I guess he was going downstate somewhere trying to campaign. And I'm sitting there, and you know we're actually getting ready to take off, and I'm like, "Is that Barack Obama?" And then of course I go ask the person next to me, "Like, is that Obama?" And then you know they're like, "I don't know," and I'm like. How do you not know who Obama is? <laughs> I mean, that, I really thought that really was unheard of. You're and be living under a rock. He, I'm telling you. And then when I, you know, he got closer, I'm like, oh my God, it's Obama. So you know, when he got off the plane, I, you know, you know, said hello. And Definitely trying to bring a small business expo um, to the community um, next year, um, 2007. Hopefully. What, what kind of small businesses are needed down here? What, uh, that's what what's we're missing? trying. That's what we're trying to um, figure out um, within our chamber. Um, what kind of businesses that we, you know, that we're lacking, and you know, what kind of services that we would like, you know, to provide. So we're definitely we're on a campaign. Like Obama, we need you. We need to figure this out. Um, I definitely, I, I really don't know what we're lacking, but we're de I definitely want to find out. Um, we just recently um, reopened up the Walgreens on 87th Street, which is a big thing because now it's 24 hours. And I know before, because um, I definitely used their pharmacy, you would have to go, if you, like, middle of the night, kind of like emergency, you would have to go to 87th and Cottage. But now, because, you know, I told you I'm all about convenience. <laughs> if all I have to do is go right down the street. I am a happy camper. <laughs> you have, so, uh, speaking of convenience, you have some pretty great train service down here. Thank you for yes, people commuting. Uh, yes, um, the train and the bus. Um, I can get, right now, if I walked out the door, I can get on the 28 and go downtown. If I went down to Jeffrey, I can get on the 14 and go downtown. How, how long would it take to get downtown on the, on the bus from here? Um, I would say maybe 30 to maybe 40 minutes, just yeah, depending on what time of day it is. Okay. The 14 so definitely what? is an um, express bus, so you definitely can get downtown within 30 minutes. Because I used to work downtown, and that's why I'm, I, I love downtown, don't get me wrong, but I'm very glad that I work down the street now. Because <laughs> you have to get up earlier, and you got to fight with all the other people well, early in the morning. No. You did a great job. Oh, my, uh, thank you. I want to thank you for taking the time to sit I was this. a little bit nervous about it. No, you're uh, <laughs> You'll be great.